I completely forgot to pick up the big bag and magic can, even though I just went back there. My bad, I didn't mean to, to forget that again. But yeah, just south of Marysville, as you can see, we have the Sweets Little Factory, and this is kind of our first... I guess our first dungeon of the game. I mean, there was a cave out of Magic Ant earlier, and there was the zoo. But I'd say this is a dungeon in the more traditional sense, in that there's a lot of branching pathways, a lot of optional treasures, and we will have to backtrack out of this place, which will not be easy. One thing I did learn through the walkthrough I have available to me is that this bread here, not only can it be used as a healing item if we just eat it, but also we can, uh, I believe use it or something like that to turn it into breadcrumbs, which we can then use to trail our way back. Now this place isn't too confusing of a layout. Not as much as the next dungeon we have to do in the game, which is why I'm saving the breadcrumbs, or potentially this rope, which might just get us out of the dungeon instantly. I'm saving that for the next place. Here we have a fight capsule. The capsules in this game, think of like the drugs in Pokémon or uh, the sources in like games like Final Fantasy VII, these are permanent stat increases that we use one time. We could technically save these for a different party member, but I don't want them just sitting there taking up inventory, so we're just gonna... We're gonna be quite generous with Ninten here, I suppose. Here we have this trash can, and this is where we can find the bottle rockets, and we can actually get an unlimited amount of these here. Uh, we can't currently carry all that many. Oh, we also have some extra presents in here. We have... A magic herb we don't need, okay, I'll ignore that. Uh, whoops. We also have... A plastic bat. Why are there more of those in the game, period? That's, like, the worst weapon there is. See, ultimately, Sweet's Little Factory here isn't all that bad. You can get a rope here. Uh... Wait, how does the rope work, exactly? I don't quite know how the rope works. I'd like if there was just, like, an escape rope like Pokémon. A uh, rope. We use the rope. Oh! It's used to, like, stun enemies, huh? That's kinda neat. If it works on bosses, if it works on bosses and we could just halt them and beat them up, that'd be nice. Alright, we're out of there and now we just gotta head back to Marysville and give this bottle rocket to Lloyd. Wow! This bottle rocket is sure to cause a bang. We may be able to make some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. This music cue tells us that Lloyd is now in our party, and he's guiding us right now to the lab on the first floor. Later we should go to Duncan's factory. I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. They call me names, weakling, or four eyes, or worse. I'm sure that you've heard them. As a matter of fact, I have. But you know what, Lloyd? You're alright in my book. Your bottle rocket in my... Great, isn't it? What? Uh... And my favorite part, there's no dialogue. Now we're just walking around like, okay, Lloyd, let's get out of here. We gotta move to a different country and change our names. If we go back in here, it's magically fixed and a random person has appeared. I'm the mysterious teacher. Secretly, I live here. I need money for research. Care to buy an invention? Uh, what do you got? You got last weapon, super bomb, sticky machine, and real rocket. All very expensive items. So now that Lloyd's in our party, you might be wondering how Lloyd works battle-wise. Uh, Lloyd here specifically uses these items, like this bottle rocket and like those inventions that that scientist is selling. If they're kind of unique things in battle, although because the inventory is so small and because, you know, once you use it, it goes away, I don't love Lloyd's gimmick in that sense. Lloyd can still level up and use a boomerang like Ninten here can and get the job done. So we'll just focus on that mainly, and let's go get a boomerang at the store. Also, you might notice some different music is now playing, this track called Bein' Friends. This is just another fantastic track, and once again, the vocal version on the official Mother soundtrack is incredible. But now let's go ahead and buy a boomerang for Lloyd to use. Now, the specific weapons that Lloyd uses... Of course, the boomerang is universal, like I've already explained before. Uh, like the slingshot. And on the top floor in the variety goods here, uh, this is the stun gun, and this is the weapon that is specifically for Lloyd. He uses guns. Although, as you can tell from the price, 
The stun gun is nowhere near as good as just the boomerang. Really, nothing in this game is for some reason. I like the idea of us being like, oh, we have a bat we can hit you with, we have a gun we can shoot you with, but no, let's just throw a boomerang. That'll do the trick. I do like that this track is named Being Friends and it has this upbeat attitude and it specifically starts playing once we have Lloyd in our party to try and like signify a kinship between Ninten and Lloyd. I really like it. Now, as you can see, Lloyd is only level one, very weak. Oh, hold on, I gotta give this boomerang over to him. And then I'll go ahead and equip that with Lloyd. But yeah, Lloyd here is very weak. There's a couple of things we could do. We could go to the Tweet's little factory and just get infinite bottle rockets for Lloyd, which would be kind of neat. But actually, I'm gonna warp us back to Magicant. Because here at Magicant, you may have remembered this swimming cat from part 5. The boy with glasses can surely use the candy. So yes. Specifically, uh, it was given to Lloyd to use. Lloyd ate the magic candy. Lloyd's energy is increased by five. So now Lloyd is a much stronger character just from that alone. But also, this is a good place to do grinding since we have plenty of ways to heal here for free. Plus, the enemies out here at Magic Ant will be nearly as dangerous or numerous as the ones just outside Marysville. Like, those bar bots will instantly destroy Lloyd. As you can see, Ninten here will just carry Lloyd along. And will Lloyd? Yeah, Lloyd got a level up just off of that single enemy there. So this grinding won't take too long, but I will do a bit of grinding just for Lloyd's sake, plus I'll get back to Marysville off screen.